Hi, this is Rodney with Mercer Online. This video is going to demonstrate how to use the grades and attendance functionality in Blackboard so that you can transfer your grades and attendance directly from Blackboard into Colleague. So, to get started, I'm on my, my Mercer portal page, and my suggestion is go ahead and log into the portal first, and you'll understand why in a few minutes. So I'm in the portal, and I'm going to click on the link to one of my shells in Blackboard. And once I'm in there, I'm here on my announcements page, the, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the menu on the left, and I'm going to click on the Course Tools link, and that's going to expand that whole Course Tools menu. So if I scroll down, and you'll see there's a whole lot of different things on here. The one I'm going to go to is Grades and Attendance, which is you know, right down here. These are alphabetically listed, so it's not that hard to find. Click on Grades and Attendance, and this is going to bring me to a screen that says ILP Integration. So if I want to do my daily attendance, what I would do is click on the daily attendance link, and this is going to open up the portal, and it's going to take me to a page where I can select the date for which I want to enter attendance. So I'm going to click on a date here. If I want to set the attendance for everybody in my class, let's say they all showed up because they're wonderful students, I can click on the drop down right here for set attendance status. I click on that drop down, select present, and then I can submit my attendance. Now, let's say I had one of them absent. So I'm going to select present here, but I've got this student here was absent. I would just click on the drop down for the student, and I would say absent, no excuse. And this other student was late, so I'm going to click on the drop down for status for this student and select late. Now, I want to submit these records into the system, so I would scroll all the way down the page and click on the submit button. Now, obviously, I'm not going to do this because this is live data and we don't want to go submit somebody's attendance records. So I'm going to scroll back up here and just show you how to get out of this screen. If I want to go back and do another day's attendance, I would click on go back or back to the attendance calendar, either one. So I could come in, click on another day, and record the attendance for that day. So whenever you're done, you can click on the done button down here, and it's just going to blank out the screen. And so you can close that tab and go back into Blackboard. So the second thing I want to demonstrate is how to submit your grades from within Blackboard. So I'm going to click on the Final Grades button here. And this is going to take me to a screen that shows my students. Now, you'll notice the current grade column here is already populated for some of these students. That's because I'm using the Blackboard Grade Center to keep track of student grades throughout the semester. If you do that, what you would do is have a column that is selected as the external grade. And if you use Blackboard Grade Center, you're probably familiar with that one column that's got the little green check mark on it. That's the one I'm talking about. Whatever data is in that column is what's going to populate this current grade column right here. So if you wanted to make an adjustment to the final grade, let's say the student, you know, turned in some stuff that you hadn't quite gotten entered into the grade center yet, and, you know, they really blew you out of the water and, and they've gone from a D to a C, I could just come right here into final grade and type in C and then hit the submit grades button. And this is actually going to push those final grades into Colleague. So instead of having to go into Colleague and manually key in all of your grades, you could just have them pulled directly from in Blackboard. So it sort of builds as you go through the semester. Uh, once you've gotten to the end, as long as everything's fine, you just click on Submit Grades and then you go on your merry way. Um, you will notice that the last date of attendance column is populated here. If you do have a student, uh, if you've not been recording attendance, but you want to record last date of attendance, um, for financial aid purposes, or if you want to record a student as having never attended, you can do that right here on this screen as well. Or you can come to last date of attendance, and you can select never attended here, or you can set the last date of attendance there if it's, you know, mid middle of the semester and you don't want to submit final grades, obviously, in the middle of the semester. So, if you have any questions about this, about how to make this work in your class, or if you need assistance configuring the Grade Center so that you can have the gradebook data directly transfer into Colleague, please feel free to reach out to the Mercer Online team. We are at MercerOnline at mccc.edu, or you can give us a call, 609-570-3389, or of course, if you're in the neighborhood, feel free to stop by our office in CM120.